Our election coverage tonight, we're focusing on the three front runners in the race for U.S. Senate. Jim Hummel joining us live and Jim tonight. We're starting with the incumbent. Marcel, good evening. Senator John Kennedy is seeking a second term to the U.S. Senate. He's made headlines as the only senator on the ballot in the midterms who voted not to uphold the 2020 election results. You might remember on January 6th, he voted against certification in Arizona. And that's where I started my recent conversation with Senator Kennedy to explain that vote. In Arizona, the uh, Democratic Secretary of State changed the rules through a, through a court appearance in the middle of the game. She extended the time to vote and the time to register, and I found that to be highly offensive, and, and that's why I did not vote. I voted to uphold the objection to the Arizona electors. As for the 2020 election, you know, the former president says it was rigged, it was stolen. I don't think we'll ever know. Though Senator Kennedy would say this. If your standard for, for it is uh, a court would have to rule, no court has ever ruled that the election uh, uh, result was, was anything wrong with it. Now I'm fighting extremism at home, running against Senator Kennedy. Louisiana is long overdue for a new vision and stronger leadership. After one term in office, the senator has drawn a crowded field of challengers. I'm proud of my record. But that record has come under fire. For instance, a recent vote against the Bipartisan Infrastructure Act, which is sending billions of dollars to Louisiana. When it comes to that infrastructure bill you mentioned, why, why vote against that? Because of what an infrastructure bill. But 23% of it was infrastructure, according to the Wall Street Journal. Re the rest was the Green New Deal. And I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, buy a car to get the cup holder. I wanted to wait until the Republicans took back control and we could pass a real infrastructure bill. He also voted against the Inflation Reduction Act. Senator Kennedy tells me he'd like to see that law repealed. If this act isn't the answer, what is the answer then for Louisiana here's what families? We need, what here's can what, you do? Here, here's what we need to do to get control of inflation. The federal government has a budget. We need to stick to our budget. Our problem with inflation is we've got too much money sloshing around and we keep adding to it. What we need to do is freeze all federal spending to our federal budget, except when we need to spend more on defense, and then let the Federal Reserve do, do its job. But I don't care what anybody said, this, this says this inflation was made in Washington. Then there's the influence of former President Trump in the race, even out of office facing new investigations, including the raid at Mar-a-Lago, where the FBI seized classified documents. You, you seem you support the former president. Well, Does he, that here's, support here's, waver at all? Here's the way happening? I see it. Good question, Jim. Um, if you don't have complete transparency, people are going to think the worst. Would you keep an open mind, though, about what that sure, might show? Sure. I have not called for defunding anybody. I don't want to defund law enforcement. I want to fund them. And as for his challengers. Haven't even met them. Haven't even met them Haven't yet. even met them, don't know them. Um, I think competition makes all of us better. Uh, take your best shot. I'm going to run on my record and uh, I'm, going to, I'm not going to change a bit. And tonight we'll hear from the two other front runners in the race, Democrats, Luke Mixon and Gary Chambers. Look for my conversation with Luke Mixon coming up on Acadiana's News Channel at 6 and then Gary Chambers coming up tonight at 10 o'clock.